everyone. If I asked you for one of Swami's sayings, chances are that love all, serve all will be near the top of your list. In my moment with Sai, I want to share how Swami has helped me to understand this quote on a much deeper level. It was March 2011 and we went to Prashanti Nilayam as a family. I'm in a wheelchair and I can't stand up and when we go to the ashram, mum and dad have to get underneath both my arms and then lift me up and I worry about their backs. And so to minimise this, we have a, a plastic slide board and the idea is that you slide it underneath me and put the other side of it on the bed and then I can just slide out of my wheelchair onto the bed and then slide from the bed back into my wheelchair so it minimises some of the lifting. On this trip when we reached the airport as we were flying out I realised I'd left the slide board at home and I was so annoyed, so upset uh, I was calling myself stupid and idiot I'd, I just couldn't believe that I'd been so silly and left it at home and I was also worried about what we would do in the ashram without it so I was feeling sorry for myself um, and we reached uh, Bangalore, got the taxi to the ashram and mum and dad went into the accommodation office and I was just waiting in the taxi outside the accommodation office and at this point I happened to see my friend Greg from the UK so um, Greg and I had a chat and I mentioned to him that I'd left this slide board at home uh, and I was worried what, what I'd do without it and Greg was having some cabinets fitted in his flat in the village and he had a carpenter there at his flat so he took a sketch of what I needed the dimensions, the design and he said he'd see what he could do that very same evening Greg returned to our room with the wooden slide board that was exactly what we needed and I, I just couldn't believe it I couldn't believe that it, how Swami had made all that happen and Greg was also saying he very rarely walks through the ashram but something that day at that time made him walk through and made him take that route and we met up and we all know what that something was it was it was Swami so the next day uh, I met up with Yashoda Greg's wife and we we're having a conversation and we talked about this incident and she asked me what I thought it meant and why why I'd had this experience because nothing happens without a reason and during the conversation she asked me what I what I'd what the incident what the incident had made me think about myself and I explained to her how I thought I was stupid I was an idiot and all those kind of things and her response was quite simply well that's not a very loving opinion of yourself is it and that's when it realized made me realize that in Swami's quote love all serve all I'm part of the all as well and so and then when you add into the mix then you know that uh, Swami also says that I'm divine they were all divine then the conversation that you have with yourself or that I have with myself especially is very important and the thing is that Swami is here uh, to help us as well on this journey that's 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 what I believe so um, and for me the journey is uh, has been uh, since that moment it's been all about loving myself and remembering that I'm divine so there was another small incident again in, in the ashram in Puttaparthi in Prashanti Nilayam and we, uh, we were sitting there and uh, all of a sudden all these negative really angry thoughts came in my mind and I, I couldn't no matter what I did I couldn't stop them and Swami was sitting there physically as well on, on the veranda I just felt so embarrassed um, but I couldn't do anything about it so afterwards I was, I was thinking to myself and having a, having a chat with a friend and I realized that actually um, one of the things that Swami does is he, he helps us um, remove our negativities and that's what made me realize that he was actually pulling the negativity out of me in that moment um, and I think for me it happened in, in Prashanti Nilayam and I've also, I also know that it happens uh, when we go to events in the UK or sometimes even at Bhajans and it kind of makes sense because Swami's here to guide us on our spiritual journey and like he says if we take one step towards Swami he'll take it a hundred towards us and he wants to help us and sometimes you have to draw this negativity out to us so that we can move forward so being aware of this conversation with myself uh, is very important to me so the loving myself realizing that I'm divine but it it can also be quite a lot of fun as well there was a there was little time uh, when we stopped off at a service station on the motorway 
And I just thought to myself, let me just sit here and, and look at everybody coming into the service station. And I told myself, I didn't say it out loud, I was just telling myself that, oh, he's divine, she's divine, he's divine, she's divine. And the interesting thing was that I got to see my own judgments come up when I thought that, oh, that person can't be divine or whatever it may be. My moment with Sai has taught me that loving myself is a very important and a key part of my spiritual journey. And also that Swami is with me on this journey to help me every step of the way. Jay Sairam.